Over 3,000 COVID-19 tests were administered to Selangorians on Wednesday as part of the state government's ongoing effort to contain the spread of COVID-19 within the community. The screening saw more than 3,000 residents pre-registering for the antigen rapid tests, while hundreds more showed up as walk-ins at Dewan MBSA Sri Pagi Kampong Paya, Jaras Tengah. It was the 26th mass testing initiative organised and fully funded by the state since beginning on May 8th and will cover all 56 state constituencies by June 10. Paya Jaras Assemblyman Muhammad Khairuddin Othman, who was present at the event, said they had provided two separate queues for the public to minimise waiting times. We have two, one for mass and one for the American people. Jadi sangat panduan ini uh, saya dipahamkan kalau uh, berjalan lancar uh, seorang itu boleh mengambil tidak lebih pada 30 minit untuk mereka saringan sebab uh, untuk covid 1 minit dah tapi untuk beratur panjang itu jadi insyaallah saya yakin menjelang pukul 4 petang ke 5 petang kita boleh selesaikan uh, semua saringan yang kita ada ini a total of eight doctors and 120 volunteer medical personnel facilitated the testing on wednesday Kairudin encouraged Selangorians to take up the offer for the free testing organised by the government. Jadi program ini uh, tidak lain tidak bukan adalah kerana untuk kita kerajaan negeri ingin mengekang uh, COVID ini dan uh, kita harapkan rakyat uh, meng- men- mengambil peluang ini sebab kita tidak mahu mereka uh, dijangkiti tapi tidak tahu. Jadi dengan program ini sajalah saya percuma yang membolehkan kerajaan negeri mengawal dan mengenapasi kawasan-kawasan yang sensitif yang uh, dikatakan kawasan uh, uh, mempunyai uh, uh, banyak pesakit uh, positif COVID. He added that those whose test results were positive would be brought to the stadium Melawati COVID-19 Assessment Centre for the Health Ministry to process them. Meanwhile, Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Amiruddin Shari said the state government was looking into the possibility of conducting door-to-door screening once mass testing in all 56 state constituencies were completed. A report stated that it would, however, depend on manpower available as 60 to 70 officers would be required. The Menteri Besar said that the matter was not fully in discussion and was only brought up as a suggestion. He further explained that door-to-door screenings would focus on localities that register a high number of cases based on data gathered through the ongoing mass community testing.